If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome back. If you are into web services performance testing, you will be using tools like JMeter or Loadrunner or some other performance testing tool to validate your performance of your APIs. But for smoke testing, you will be using client like Postman or Insomnia or sometimes you could be using a JMeter for a quick smoke test. But today I'm going to show you a simple and very effective client to test your REST API for VS Code. It is called a Thunder Client. You can go to the website thunderclient.io and you can get this VS Code extension. VS Code is one of the commonly used editor among developers as well as testers. To install Thunder Client for VS Code, just visit thunderclient.io and click on get VS Code extension or in your VS Code, go to your marketplace and search for uh, Thunder here. You will get the client and just click on install. So this will install the Thunder client and you can see the zap icon here. Just click on it to launch your Thunder client. Now let me close this and let us go through the features of Thunder client and let us uh, test some simple REST API call in this uh, UI. To begin, you have to click on a new request and here it will display the uh, interface. So where you have the two uh, interfaces, in the left side you will get the uh, input and right side you will get the output. So as you see, it is uh, preloaded with the uh, simple uh, call and if you hit send, you can see the output respectively. And also it displays to fill the uh, params, auth information, so it supports basic, bearer and OAuth 2.0 and headers you can uh, add your key value pairs and body data for the post or other type of http methods you can uh, fill these details now let us uh, leverage the http uh, bin here this is one of the simple uh, http request and response service so here uh, we are going to make use of a couple of apis now let us begin with the status code so now if you send any of the status code like uh, say 200 or 400 it will just display the respective uh, output. Now we are going to make use of this. Now let me uh, copy this particular uh, request in uh, uh, Thunder Client and let us uh, send the value 200. Now if you hit send you can see the output uh, status is 200 OK with the blank uh, response and as you just send the request in the left side you can see the activity is getting logged and also you'll be able to uh, delete or rename or you can save to collection. Now uh, let me send the value uh, 4 on night which is the teapot and if you hit send you can see the response teapot and also the status is uh, 418 I am a teapot. So like this you can just quickly test your REST APIs in within VS Code pretty quickly and you can also will be able to save your collections. So now let us see another uh, feature which is uh, environment variables. So here you can uh, store your environment variables by clicking on this uh, import button or you can uh, uh, click on a new environment. So here let us uh, create a new environment say uh, HTTP uh, bin and just click the name and here you can uh, add your variable name and values. So here I'm going to store the variable name as a status and the value is say uh, 404. So now I'm going to click on save and you can make use of this status in your request. So to make use of this particular variable name in your uh, request, you can follow the postman uh, syntax. So basically you have to use uh, two curly braces and the variable name. So now if you see the color of the particular uh, syntax has been changed to green which means uh, it is a, a keyword or syntax and if you hit send you can see the status uh, 404. So like this you can keep on add your uh, environment variables one by one and then you can make use of in your request. So now uh, I'm going to show you another important uh, feature uh, which is pretty much uh, very helpful for testers which is uh, tests. So here you can write your tests and you can validate its kind of assertions in JMeter or checkpoint in Loadrunner and uh, let us begin with very simple uh, response code test and here you can select various type of uh, assertions or checks and you can check the uh, 
operator here and let us go with uh, 404 and if you hit send if you just click on the test results tab you can see the uh, result as pass now if you change the value to say 200 then it will fail so like this you can keep on add your tests and you can validate your response also it works uh, with uh, json response as well so for that uh, i'm going to make use of uh, http bin and uh, json now if you see the response we are getting some json uh, output so now assume that i want to select uh, or validate the author okay what we can do is we can add the uh, json query here and we can write the uh, slide show and dot author so which will extract uh, this author uh, yours truly and we can validate this in our uh, test so now the operator is equals and uh, value is yours truly now if you, if you hit send you can see the test results uh, response code is equal to 200 and the query is yours truly now suppose i'm going to change this as a yours truly test then this particular result will fail so this is how you make use of a thunder client for a pretty much a quick test within vs code itself no need to leave to other tools like postman or insomnia you can uh, maintain your tests and also you'll be able to write your uh, validations here and once it is done you can uh, export or you can save to collections and you can uh, import it uh, by sharing it with your teammates that's it guys for my side if you have any questions please take one in the comments and thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel